I'd like to share with you a new idea for investment, a new stock that I'm considering to buy, Z Scale. Hello guys and welcome back to Long Term Investing with Antoinette. Before we begin today's video, I just want to give you a quick reminder to like, share, subscribe and all that good stuff. I know that sitting through a like, comment, subscribe plug at the start of each video can be a tad annoying. There's really a ton of work that goes into this. And even though I enjoy creating daily content for you very much, I also want to see this channel grow. So please bear with me through this for now. Once we hit some milestones, I'll come up with something different. Okay, round over. Now, time to get down to business. This scale, ZS, Current price $147.66. This scaler is one of those few companies that actually benefited from the lockdowns. Much like Zoom, the Sun Joe's based InfoSec company managed not only to increase but also diversify its clientele during the pandemic. The company is up over 240% since October 2018 and over 180% since October 2019. What is this scaler? This scaler showed for Zenith Scalability is a B2B cybersecurity firm specialized in data protection for corporate clients. Their services operate on a cloud native model, allowing the customer to forego local infrastructure costs while enjoying increased security at the same time. They provide web security, internet security, wireworks, antivirus, vulnerability management, sandboxing, and more. So how did the lockdown help this scale? Well, think about it for a second. If people aren't at the office but still want to work, they want to do it over the internet. And to work remotely, you have to transmit data back and forth between your computer and the company's servers or the data centers that host them. But if you don't use higher forms of security, it's really easy for hackers to intercept the data and steal valuable information, account details or company secrets. So, even the companies who weren't heavily invested in cybersecurity are starting to look at it more seriously. The last thing that I would want during uh, an economically unstable period is to leak sensitive information and damage your business, right? Naturally, this means that cybersecurity service providers, especially the B2B orientated ones, are in a high demand right now. And once they've gotten a taste of what educate cybersecurity is like, major corporations are very unlikely to just hit the unsubscribe button, even after we finally put the pandemic behind us and their offices reopen. Besides, now that so many tech experts saw that they can do their jobs just as easily from home, I think that it's reasonable to expect uh, an influx of remote working positions. This is further backed up by the Ziskeller CEO and founder Jay Chowdhury, who points out that the company aims to address the challenge posed by the mobile employee base that needs to get work done, regardless of where they are at any given moment. You could be at home, in the office or in the road, but the job still needs to get done, right? And if you are transmitting data, over the internet, you need to take the appropriate measures to protect it. This scaler's model allows them to essentially replace the traditional type of corporate cybersecurity with a zero trust exchange. And best of all, the engineers can install and upgrade the entire system in a matter of days. This scaler has released a number of success stories, some of which are quite impressive. In one example, just as the pandemic lockdowns were picking up speed, they had to handle a customer with little over 300,000 employees in the span of a weekend. Obviously, they managed to pull it off, otherwise they wouldn't really be bringing it up. The entire system was up and running by Monday morning, and the company was able to resume its operations remotely. 
The market volatility did hit them a little bit, but the stock price recovered rapidly. There are a lot of companies that can grow in this economic climate, but Zscaler is definitely making it work. Long story short, Zscaler is looking really promising in the long term, especially given the circumstances. Still, they are without competition. Cybersecurity is a rapidly growing field, and companies like CrowdStrike, I already mentioned this in the previous videos, CRWD and Fortinet, FTNT, are also looking to up their game even in different aspects. Currently, this scaler has over 3,900 corporate clients, including more than 400 of the Forbes Global 2000, generating more than 100 billion transactions on a daily basis. About half of the companies are located in the States. The remaining is split between Europe, the Middle East and Africa, 40% and 9% are situated in the Asia-Pacific region. This scaler is rated exceptionally well on a glass door, with over 97% of reviewers giving J a uh, thumbs up. 94% would recommend this scaler to their friends and 93% are big believers in the businesses as a whole. On average, this scaler is rated above 4.5 out of 5 stars demonstrating the trust and appreciation the employees have for the company. This scaler has two main products. Zia, Zscaler Internet Access, and ZPA, Zscaler Private Access, are currently estimated to be worth over $20 billion. And while their revenue rose 40% a year over year for the third quarter, they are yet to reach the 1 billion milestone. Personally, I believe that we can expect a lot of growth from this company, and I see it is something worth keeping an eye on. That's pretty much it for this scaler so far. They are really promising, highly competitive and fast-growing tech company and they feel has no shortage of demand. The numbers seem solid and the management is brilliant. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on their progress and I'm considering to add it to my portfolio. And in closing, I'd like to give you all a big shout out for sticking with me until the end. And as always, I'll ask you to please like, comment and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. If you've gotten any questions, ideas or experience about this scale or long-term investing in general, please do not hesitate to drop me a comment or message me on social media. I'm always happy to hear from you. Thank you all for watching and until next time, stay green and motivated.